All right, Acho, what does the win say about the Cowboys? Um, it says unequivocally that the Cowboys are going to win the NFC East. Um, it says that the Cowboys have this division on lock, and I believe it says that there isn't a quarterback in the NFC East that can touch Dak Prescott. There we go. Right, we tried to put Jalen Hurts in a tangential conversation with mm. Dak Prescott. Like, we didn't make him equivalent, but we said Jalen Hurts is kind of a likewise Dak Prescott. <laughs> They're in different, completely different stratospheres Oof. as it stands on today. Mm -hmm. Now, with that being said, we also learned that the Cowboys are smart enough to put out little fires, little fires everywhere. They put them out. Mm. There was a little fire. Oh, Tony Pollard, he should be running back number one. Jerry Jones to Mike McCarthy to Kellen Moore were smart enough to say, hey, whatever we do, let's make sure at least when we leave this game, the media cannot go back to that hole. Oh, so what really? we're going to do is feed Zeke as much as possible, mm -hmm. especially against the poorest defense, who yeah. without their Pro Bowl defense, Van Brandon Graham tore his Achilles. Fletcher Cox gets hurt during the, or cramps during the course of the game. So let's make sure <laughs> we do whatever we need to do to change the narrative. Mm. Let's make sure that we do that. I also learned that the Cowboys, yes, they're smart enough to put out little fires everywhere. Listen. I also learned that the Cowboys are capable of beating bad teams. Okay. Haven't always been the case under Dak Prescott. Cowboys fans, NFL fans, let's go through a history lesson. Oh. The end of 2019, the Cowboys needed to beat the Eagles to go to the playoffs. 19. It was in Philadelphia. Carson Wentz had no receivers. That was that first year. Carson Wentz without any receivers. Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper, Zeke, they go to Dallas in a must-win game, and you couldn't lose that, you couldn't beat that bad team. Mm -hmm. I've learned this year that in beating the Eagles, which is a bad team, Cowboys capable of doing that. Chargers will continue to get better. Dang. But I'm not convinced that the Chargers week two were a very good team. I think they were an average team oh. who's continuing to get better. They beat the Chargers. Mm -hmm. So I also learned that the Cowboys are capable of beating bad teams. So what have I learned? Mm. They're going to win the NFC East. The Cowboys will do that. The Cowboys are capable of beating bad teams. The Cowboys will do that. And the Cowboys are cognizant enough to stop these narratives before they grow into wildfire. I know that. Mm, I, but, like that. I like uh, this. I like, uh-oh. I, I knew it. Because you were getting a little redundant up there. All right, here comes the butt. Becky. Oh, I learned a lot more about the Eagles. Oh. On your I old did squad. about the Cowboys. You want to wait or you want to go? I'm going to wait till my second lap for oh, okay. that. Okay. But I learned this much. Let's go. Cowboys fans, before y'all get up here tooting all y'all's horns and whatnot, just know this. Y'all be the bad team. Mm. I'm a line team. Mm. And mm. don't feel yourself too much because mm. the Eagles lost mm. more than the Cowboys won. Mm. I'm going to show you that momentarily. Oh, okay. I knew you were going to be a party pooper. It's just in you, huh? That self-hate you got for Dallas. Where, where are you from again? Where are you from? I'm from Dallas yeah, I, proper. I, I, I know it ain't where you're from, it's where you're at, so you act in L.A. Lakers fan, right? Not a Mavericks fan anymore? Know. Well, both. The, the, the I'm both. a LeBron fan. Oh, oh, okay. I go where he goes. Oh, you go where he yes, goes? Sir. Okay. Well, you ain't in Brentwood, and you ain't Brentwood <laughs> Jason either, so you don't go where he goes. Okay. What does this win say about the Dallas Cowboys? To me, it says the simple thing, and you mentioned the simple thing as well. They're the class of the NFC East. Yes, sir. But there's something that is deeper than just saying that at the top layer. You're the best in the NFC East. Remember what you just said. You just said the worst division in football, you're the best of the worst. Now, most people won't call that a compliment, but I will. Because if you look at the Dallas Cowboys, not only the class of this division, but they've already achieved one goal, at least in our minds, which is the first goal of any NFL team. Win your division, right? Now, in their minds, they've won this division. Because look at the teams. Washington, stop. New York, come on. Philly, we just saw it. All right. How many other teams of the eight divisions out there can even sit there and have that same mindset right now after week three? Let's go. You go around all the divisions, there's seven other divisions. Can't go anywhere except Buffalo looking in their division, AFC East. All right, New England, stop playing. Miami, all right, we get it. And then you could go to Tennessee probably just because the Colts and their probably, injuries, yeah. right? Fair. And you look around. Everywhere, even Tampa Bay. Carolina, like, what you say? Mm -hmm. well, every yeah. other division. So already the Dallas Cowboys have put themselves in rare air early in this season. That's a positive. What does this also say about the Dallas Cowboys? This also says that, look, being in that division is going to give us proper preparation for what we have to do later. A lot of people say you got to sharpen your knife. Well, sharpening your knife. Knives got to iron sharpens iron. All right, we got to go through hell to get to where we want to go. 
Not the Dallas Cowboys. They now have to go through that hell. They're going to go through a division where Dak Prescott can recover from last season's injury and whatever that did to terms of his confidence. Right now, Dak Prescott is not only a better version of himself, but also a guy who's taking total command of his team, which is starting to now be total command of this division. He is 11-1 in his last 12 games against the NFC least opponents. What does this say about the Dallas Cowboys? It says something about uh, Ezekiel Elliott, who you want to point out and say, oh, we put out a fire. No, you didn't. Here's an analyst. Here's a reporter. Here's a host who still sees that fire. But I admit, I ain't going to get too close to it because it ain't going to burn me. Zeke and Pollard, did Zeke have 100 yards last night? No, sir. Oh, God. Does Zeke outrush Pollard? Yeah, with more carries, but what about the yards per carry? Point one. <laughs> like, me, 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 me. Point is, that's a good problem to have. Jerry Jones declared that during the week. Now we see that as a good problem to have. But what will this schedule allow the Dallas Cowboys to do? Not go through hell while they're trying to, as you say, extinguish these fires. Pollard, Zeke, everybody can eat. Look who we got. We got nothing but flesh and bones all in front of us in this division. So I'm loving the runway for a team that needs to gain its confidence, okay. needs to gain its way, yes, and is going to be able to do that in the NFC lease. Yes, sir. Now that we have both done our obligatory praise of the that. Cowboys, we, we did that. Seven minutes, Cowboys fans. We just sat there and waxed so poetically okay. of praises. <laughs> Can we be real, so? Can we? You want to go somewhere? I ain't really learned nothing about the Cowboys Don't yesterday. Do that. I didn't. Don't I didn't. Do I didn't. Okay, oh, I gave no. y'all four minutes of yes, such hate. positive conjecture. I gave y'all four minutes of it, Cowboys fans. Now I got to give y'all four minutes of truth. They mm. say truth and grace is the best way to communicate. I gave y'all grace for four mm. minutes. Mm. Now you about to get four mm. minutes of truth. We already knew the Cowboys were the best team in the NFC East. So that win didn't tell me nothing. Did we? Did we, 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 we did. did. We already knew Dak Prescott, who makes $70 million, should be a significantly better player than Jalen Hurts on his seventh start. That's so real. that ain't tell that's me facts, nothing. That's facts. What I learned is that, wait a second, Eagles, y'all lost that game more than the Cowboys went out there and won that game. What I learned was, Eagles, y'all were so bad, y'all made the Cowboys look that much better. But America, don't take my word for it. I told y'all I gave y'all four minutes of truth. Well, four minutes of grace. Here we go. It's time for four minutes of truth. We're going it. to the big board. Oh, We're going go. to the big board. Honestly, I'm just coming here so I can show y'all my full fit. I you know, after it. yesterday, my dog Marcellus tried to clown your knees boys, going but in. I'm really just here hips. to show y'all the full fit. <laughs> the ankles are lotion. You know what I'm saying? The wristwatch still popping. But anyway, back to the point. Back to the point. Back to the point. The Eagles and Jalen Hurts, yo. They really gave away that game. Now, Jalen Hurts, more than anybody, gave it away. I think he'll be better, but yesterday was not the beginning of him being better. Why do I mean that? He tried to pull a vet move, mm. but in order to pull a vet move, you should probably be a vet. Mm. So, Sal, so, when mm. I look at that, mm. when I look at the game, yeah. did the Cowboys do anything that made you go, oh, my God, the Cowboys are so good? Or were you watching that game like, ugh, the Eagles? They pretty bad. The wind didn't tell me anything I didn't already know. Cowboys fans, be real. It didn't tell you anything you ain't already know. Marcellus Wiley, you be real. It didn't tell you anything you ain't already know. Oh, yes, it did. Um, like, I hate when we get up here and forget where we came from. I came from Dallas, like, 2 like, and 4 Like, like still got the You got code. deeper issues than just the NFL where you came from. But your hometown, you don't even got love for. And I shouldn't have no love for Dallas the way they treated me. Or more importantly, how I treated them, because I ain't <laughs> <laughs> damn thing as a cowboy. But being real, I did learn some things about the Dallas Cowboys. We can say positive things about the offense, and I think that's going to be water off a of dove's back. Why? Because we understand that this offense is special. Be real. Fourth rank offense, and we over here complaining about the running back situation. They fourth ranked in rushing attack. And then you see them six in scoring offense. So that's a top offense. Forget that side of the ball. Uh, let's be real. Did you know that the Dallas Cowboys have had at least two sacks in six of their last seven games? Going back to last year, interesting. At least two takeaways in their last seven games, interesting. Leads the league in takeaways and first in turnover margin. Be real. Coach always said, I don't need to see the game. You show me one stat and one stat only. I hated when they did that, God. but it was so accurate. It was. Show me one stat and one stat only, and I'll tell you who won 90% of the games. What is it? Turnovers. 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 That's Who's it. number one in the NFL in turnover margin? The Dallas Cowboys. Bruh, last year we couldn't say anything positive about the defense unless you were squinting at the end of the season. There's been a carryover effect, even with the new defensive coordinator and Dan Quinn. Mike McCarthy, I wouldn't give him an A in coaching just yet. 
But he's doing something special to allow everyone else to start to blossom. Dak Prescott is blossoming. Zeke is looking like he's trying to return to form. Pollard is something special. you got receivers everywhere. You've had offensive line issues, and none of that has stopped you from being a top-10 offense. And now, in the most important statistic, number one on defense. Here's the thing. I'm going to do this for the sake of you all. I'm going to do this for the sake of television, Sal, because oh, okay. it's only fair to our viewers to give them both sides of the coin. Okay. Get it's you. not fair to just look at a coin and see heads. What about tails? Mm. Tails need some love, tails too. never fails. What either. about the tails never fails? Coin toss, always go tails, never Facts. fails. Facts. Now, <clears throat> the reason the Cowboys taught me nothing in their win yesterday hmm. is because everything they did, we knew they're capable of doing. On defense? Sell the Eagles are not a good football team. Okay. I said that before the season. We said that after their Niners lost. Okay. The Cowboys are 1-13 in 13 mm. versus teams that made the playoffs the last two seasons. 1-13. Mm -hmm. Eagles ain't making the playoffs. Mm. So that's not going to change. Mm. Chargers, they sh might make the playoffs. It's going to be tough to make the playoffs in the AFC. And the Bucs, we know they're going to make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So the Cowboys lost to the Buccaneers, a team that's going to make the playoffs. Okay. And the Eagles, they beat. And the Chargers, they beat. Cowboys fans, y'all beat bad teams. We know that the Cowboys beat bad teams. Congratulations. <laughs> but can you beat good teams? We'll that's see. what we have to figure we'll out. See. Turnovers don't tell the whole picture. Because against the Buccaneers, a good football team, the Bucs turned the ball over four times. Cowboys only turned the ball over once. And why did they lose? And the Cowboys still lost the game. Because of a special team effort. Because the sure. kicker kicked the game away. Sure, I'm yeah. not disagreeing with okay. that. Okay. But I'm saying, you said the one stat, which, Marcellus, why are you perfectly correct? The stat that tells the entirety of the game is a stat of turnovers. 90%. 90% yeah. of the time. Yeah, but yeah, even yeah. when the Cowboys won the turnover battle excellently, mm. You still lost the game to a playoff team. It's hard to win in the NFL. And I love mm. my Eagles. I really do. So it, it's hard for me to say how bad the Eagles were. Mm. But at the point in which you lose a pro bowler from last year in Fletcher Cox, defensive tackle, pro bowler from last year, defensive end in Brandon Graham, your pro bowl safety, uh, uh, Rodney McLeod, is not playing. Backup, Kayvon Wallace, gets hurt in the first quarter. Mm. The Eagles are playing without a defensive tackle as a pro bowler, oh. without a defensive end that's a pro oh. bowler. I would hope that Zeke gives you 95 yards. But don't fall for it. Last year, against the Giants, he also gave you 91 yards on 19 carries. <laughs> and we were like, oh, Zeke is back. Zeke is back. Oh, my God. Praise God. Zeke is back. And what happened, Sal? Stop selling these Cowboys fans dreams. You did it once. When? You sold them a dream before they paid you. <laughs> okay? You saw the dream before they paid you and you underdelivered. What are Stop your best selling delivered? these Cowboys okay. fans dream? This is what I have been waiting for, us to really have a relationship on there. Because I got some jokes loaded. <laughs> and I didn't know you was going to be able to take them. But once I see you can give them, oh, you're going to take these jokes. It's coming, bro. Beware. All right, let's be real about it. That was amazing. Um, Miles Garrett had four and a half sacks last week, right? But, oh, according to Acho, he went against a bad offensive line, so those sacks don't count. Uh-uh. You don't know how Turbo Boost works. You have never played the game Spy Hunter, have you? Remember back in the day? No, sir. You I weren't even born with Spy Hunter. I wasn't. Hunter I'll be honest. Spy Hunter. We had to play. Dog, I'm so old, we play card games with a joystick like this. <laughs> like, we doing this with a button. What's the button for? Anyway, you play a Spy Hunter, right? You got to get your Turbo Boost up. You know what Turbo Boost is? It's something that you build over the course of time, and then you use it when you need it. The Dallas Cowboys are in a division where they're going to build up their turbo boost, bro. Mm. Confidence. I respect All that you. Zeke out there, 95 yards. Zeke, get 100 yards so I can say that. I'm tired of saying 95 <laughs> and 91. Get 100 yards. Point being, all of these situations, the confidence is brewing. Dak trusting his leg, trusting the system, trusting the talent around him. Mike McCarthy getting into the coaching groove, right? Turbo boost on full. And then when you see them real teams, playoff time, hit that button.